Tim's Workshop out here in the mini shed. Going to continue on with part five of the VW 1965 1240 horse. Okay, so uh, we're going to start taking the heads and everything off this thing and see what we got. Hey, if you're new to the channel, please subscribe, leave comments, hit the notification bell. If you like, give me a like. Hit the old hand thing and let your friends and family and your doggies too know about Tim's Workshop on my YouTube. Well, let's get going on this VW motor. Okay, well, what's next? Valve cover off. Yeah, there's a little bit of rust in here. Not bad though. Push rods are all there. Okay, so the next thing is uh, roll this over and get the other side off the uh, covers and then uh, pull the rocker arms off and then the uh, and then the heads. Okie dokie. So we're making some progress <coughs> getting these rocker arms off of here. Okay, okay, this is forward, so this is, I did keep these, uh, these push rods in order. Push rods are full of oil, that's for sure. There we go. Okay, so we got to figure out what size we need here. And I don't think I got a 15 out here. So I'm going to go get one. Get these heads off. the uh, nuts off. I should probably get a magnet to get these washers off of here. But <laughs> I really want to get this head off of here. And it's coming pretty easy so Check this out. Hmm. 
Now, I don't know if that just fell in there or it was already in there, but let's see. Rotate this piston around. So number three had the spark plug out and it had this nut in there. So somehow or another, when that spark plug was out of the hole, this nut had bounced into that spark plug hole. <laughs> because this nut doesn't go, as far as I know, this nut is not for anything on this motor that I could see. It is the same size as the oil cooler. But the other two holes in the oil cooler are larger than the... I put that nut back on the oil cooler, so I don't know. I'm going to save this nut, though. But somehow I got into that cylinder, and this is the one that had the spark plug out of the hole. So I, I think we're starting to figure it out now. So anyway, the next uh, step is... Uh, let me get, get this shield off of here because I want to get the uh, I want to see if I can get these jugs off of here there we go so we got the shield off got my rubber mallet There we go. You can still see cross hatching in this thing. The jug feels good. That's the one that had the nut in it. Take a look at this head too. Other than carbon on it. I don't see any damage on it. You could use a new set of rings. They're not uh, seized at all, but they are shiny. I saw one guy show me uh, what the, the rings should look like when they're new. You could use a new set of rings. They don't cost that much, so that's no biggie. There we go. Little rust in there, nothing. It could be cleaned up with a ball, huh? All these rings look okay. Take all this off on the other side here, get it down to the same spot I have have it right now. Then we'll take the clips off, pull the, the pistons out, get this, the crank pulley, get it off the tin, get the uh, pump cover off, start breaking it down, get it apart. I'm gonna order the mount for the, my engine stand for the VW. So I'm gonna get that uh, AA Performance, sells one pretty cheap, so. I'll get that on order. 